These are Stella and Spartacus's male puppies. They are about five and a half weeks old. Born December 30th. There's two, still two male puppies left. Which um, we have our buyers wait till puppies are about now. This about five and a half to six, five weeks old. To start picking their puppies. Because until then, you really can't tell them apart. Their looks and personalities are so similar. And even now, it's, you know, it'll just get more and more in the next couple weeks. But uh, this is when we start the puppy picking. That's black. Um, red. Brown. Green. Blue. And blue and green. Um, so if you're interested in a male puppy, I can tell you, once we know which two are left, they will be gone before you know it. It's amazing how many people do that. The minute we we get them picked, they just jump on it. So if you're interested in reserving one of the two males um, and you don't want to miss your chance, send a deposit or you're welcome to wait until we know which two it is. It should be about a week-ish. Okay, for the rest of you who are picking your puppies, this litter, this whole litter is super laid back, which is wonderful. In an Airedale puppy, that is a wonderful trait to have. Um, sometimes I have people worry, oh, they're, they're so laid back. That's black, blue and green. But let me just tell you, in an Airedale, there's no such thing. Um, it's just a developmental thing. At this age, some litters, it takes a little longer kind of to come out of their shells than others. Um, and some are just more laid back. And I would say that this litter is just a little more laid back, which both their parents are very laid back Airedales. But, for example, you can go back over all my videos on our YouTube channel and compare litters um, between five weeks and eight weeks. And, like, Bella's litter is two weeks older than them, and that's brown and green. And you can look back from them. The video I just posted a couple days ago versus five weeks. Well, a couple days ago when they were seven and a half weeks, they're literally bouncing off the walls. So... Uh, I just want to assure you, don't worry about that. That is not even the slightest bit of a worry. They will be playful and energetic Airedales. Mark my words. But anyway, so we are really excited to have a laid-back litter. We really try to breed um, litters with even temperaments. You don't want a litter where there's one that is just so wild and crazy and one that's so severely shy. You know, you really want to shoot for the even-tempered um, middle of the road puppies which this has really been a great litter for that which makes it a little bit hard to pick right now because they're not there's not tons of differences that you're going to be able to see so if you get stumped please feel free to email me and ask questions i really love to help people pick their puppy i know it's hard especially um when you can't be here although i have been told it's easier to pick by the videos from the people that have have tried and then maybe come and visited. I think once you see them, they're all just so cute you can't hardly pick. But anyways, just feel free to email me and say, hey, I'm stumped between all of them or between these two. And, you know, tell me, like, do you have other dogs? Do you love to travel? Do you go outside a lot? Are you inside a lot? Um, sometimes those things I'm able to pick out from being with them all the time. And I can kind of steer you in a decision or just give you more information. So... We're going to start the picking. All the information will be in the email that I sent out to you. Um, if you are like number two or three or four or whatever to pick, I recommend, you know, watching this. And while we're waiting on the people before you to pick, try to put your, your um, choices in order. That's blue and green. So like pick your top three if you're number three to pick so that when your time does come to pick, that you're ready and it doesn't take you too, too long. I don't like to rush people. Here's blue, that's red, blue and green, black. I don't like to rush people. It's a very hard decision and an important decision. But do be aware that just as excited as you are to pick everyone else's, and um, especially since there's two puppies still available, I'd really like to have the decisions made sooner than later. But we will go with the flow. That is green. What a mess it is in here, huh? There's brown. Look at this, guys. Oh, you're stuck. 
There we go. So, let's start with size. That's the easiest thing. We've done that several times now. But um, I would say at this point, black is the biggest. It's black. And then brown. And then blue. Yeah. And then I would say, I would say blue and green. And let's see. This is red and this is green. They're really about the same size, but red maybe is a, yeah, probably a little bit more stocky. So this is red and this is green. So from outgoing to most outgoing to most shy, right here tells you a lot. How do they react when they hear something they don't recognize? but I'm going to say that I think blue and green is probably the most outgoing. He's kind of the first one to come running up to me usually. Um, doesn't seem like he gets startled real easily. And then I'm going to say black or green. Black or green. I don't know. Maybe black. Either way, black or green. And then... In my, what I've seen, I would say that next is probably brown. And then leaving the most quiet ones to be blue and red, which I think red is the most shy in the litter. <laughs> this is brown, blue, blue and green. Black, green, red. You can see black's the one going up to that. There's brown, black. So I know this is going to be a hard one. I've been waiting, like you guys have seen, every couple days, hoping they'd really come out of their shells more so. Um, but it's time to get the picking going. So, um, like I said, just please feel free to reach out to me and ask questions. And just know, you honestly, I don't just say this. I promise. You really can't go wrong. These are great puppies. Their parents have awesome temperaments. None of them have anything that I'm even the slightest bit worried about personality-wise. I would pick any one of these puppies. So hopefully that helps. I'll go over them one more time. This is brown. Here's blue. Does that feel good? Oh yeah, that feels real good. Here's blue and green. Here's red, and there's green. There we go.